You got guys communicating and um, whoever lot across the line of scrimmage, you know, we have came up short. You know, we have, um, you know, we've been in tight games where um, like this past weekend we lost by a field goal. And it's just like things like that where we could just make that one extra play. And I think that's where we have to, the mindset on defense, uh, how can we make that play that they make in the offense or whatever it may be? Uh, how can we get the ball off the offense uh, hand? Um, like, you know, they creating turnovers. We have to win that turnover margin. We don't want to turn over the ball, of course. But um, like I said, we have to create uh, ways to, um, to get the ball off the offense because, like I said, we right there we want to be, especially with, like we're doing a hell of a job on third down. We get on the field on third down. Now it's the next step of getting, um, getting the ball. Does using two quarterbacks, is that hard to kind of prepare for the way that they're doing that? I don't think so. I think um, when you, if you're watching film and you're taking the coaching, you, uh, especially when we getting all the uh, information that we we getting, you know, um, because they are when they when one quarterback in is different and the other quarterback in is different, you know, they doing different things with each quarterback. They both can run a little bit, but um, of course um, Driscoll, you know, he can run a little more than you know uh, Mills. So you know, you kind of when you prepare and you're getting ready for these type of games. When they, each one of them come in, you kind of know what you um, to expect, and you know what you're gonna get. <laughs> no doubt. Um, and then I think that's where we come in as players, as leaders. You know, we have to um, have, we have to hold each and every one um, accountable. You have to hold each other to a high standard, no matter who on the field, who not on the field. You know, we have to. Go with the mindset that we're trying to win the game. Um, you know these and these guys. You know these new guys get signed on the Wednesday and have to play on the Sunday. They doing a hell of a job. They have done a hell of a job uh, for us. And then and just the props to uh, the type of team we have because these guys don't know everything. And then just the communication. We big on communicating on the field. So I think that's where helping these guys out. You know by making coming in and helping make plays. So um, yeah, the standards still up there. No matter if they. You know, get called up on a Saturday. I think that's when Coach Rave say everyone has to prepare like a starter. That's what we expect, um, especially as a leader. That you know, like I said, I'm gonna give my all. I expect guys to prepare and get ready to play in the game. A better mindset, which I am feeling today. We had a little Christmas giveaway thing today. I got me a bottle of Pappy, so I'm feeling real good right now. Um, but nah, man, it ain't doom and gloom. Uh, obviously, losing four straight is definitely something that we don't want. Um, but. You know, we have a great opportunity in front of us to go out there and beat our division opponent, Houston Texans, which is going to be a really cold game. So that should be exciting and fun. Um, but yeah, you know, we still control our destiny uh, to go out here. We just got to win out, and, and that's the bottom line. But it starts this week with Houston. I know you guys have the, uh, the, the next man up mentality, Kevin, but, but still when you look at the, the list that just keeps growing and growing, is, is it a little bit mind-boggling, a little bit, the, the injury list? Or? Yeah, I mean, signing new guys every week. Uh, the roster is definitely always fluid. Still don't have any answers for you on that, but you know, at the end of the day, we just got to go out there and execute the guys that we have out there. You took the last couple of weeks, the Texans have not been playing like a team indicative of their record. They've taken a couple of playoff teams to the brink. Can for sure. Speak to that? They're not rolling over. Yeah, I mean, they've been playing really good. Obviously, their running back, Damian Pierce, is not out there no more, but uh, they've been running this two quarterback system with Driscoll and, uh, and, and Mills. Uh, they've been playing really well. Um, so this is not going to be any type of cakewalk or anything like that. We're going to go out there and play really good football to beat this team at home. How unique is what they're doing with those two? Um, you don't really see it around the league, uh, especially. I mean, Driscoll's been there, but like you said, they're, they're doing similar things when they're both in the game. But obviously when Driscoll, Driscoll's in there, uh, it's a little bit more leaning to the run. Um, but obviously he can throw. He's been a quarterback in this league for a long time. So uh, I just feel like they're just trying to mix things up uh, to give teams different looks to, so we can communicate a little bit better. Uh, I think the previous experience helped a lot as far as just knowing what it takes and knowing what your routine is going to be in order to prepare. I mean, it's different every week who we play, yeah, but the way you prepare, it's not, it's the same mostly. So it's just understanding what it takes and going out there every day. And now I get to uh, get the reps a little bit more. So uh, just going out there and getting better. And, and your first start was against the Texans the second time around. With how, how much of a benefit potentially is that if you're the guy? Uh, I think it's a really cool opportunity, and I think it's that at the end of the day, it's an opportunity. So I take it like any other one. I mean, 
yeah, my first start was against them, but that too much don't matter. It's a little bit in the past. Uh, it's about going out there and try to prepare for them this week. And they've been playing hard games against these last few teams they've been playing, and you just got to respect them. I know there's a few weeks talked about how much you've improved. How much do you think you've improved over the course of the last couple of months? I think I got to keep getting better, brother. <laughs> better understanding you have the playbook, the offense and everything just in the six weeks since you were starting before? I mean, six weeks worth of learning. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to learn something every day, continue to grow and get better. And your offensive coordinator said that uh, he feels like the game has slowed down for you some. How would you describe how it has slowed down for you? I think you just uh, continuous reps. I mean, it's been about 14, 15 weeks. And, seeing the same stuff every day, going against a great defense, which is our defense, and just continuing to try to grow and get better every day and learn from mistakes and not be scared to make them. You know, that's what it's about. When, yeah, it's just, when it does slow down for you, what, what other benefits are there? It just helps the team at the end of the day. If I'm comfortable out there, then they can be comfortable knowing that I, I know what I'm doing and yes. I, I'm good to go. Sorry, he also said some of, some of the things that had been kind of teaching points that he talked to you about are now conversations. Have you kind of felt that transition and, and noticed that you've gone from kind of taking instruction to being more in, in conversations with him about certain stuff? Uh, I think it's more like any relationship you have. You just continue to grow and build in it. And at the beginning, you have a lot of stuff to learn, especially coming into this league. But uh, starting to get the, used to the, uh, how it goes and you just continue to, like I say, grow and get better. Roger McCreary mentioned that one of your best